Right, just killed the radio folks so you can hear me, welcome along to the vlog. So I think it's fairly obvious what I've been doing this morning. We have, as you've seen on a previous video, been prepping the floor to put uh, epoxy resin down. And, well there are quite a few cracks in the floor, which I would like to repair correctly before we put this resin flooring down as it's quite expensive stuff so there's a massive crack down the center of the unit here which runs all the way to the drain and it's been quite convenient for me to just use as a little valley if you like a channel um, while I'm washing the floor down but I think now is the time as we're moving forwards to perhaps cut that crack out and instead of just doing a bodge and a repair and then epoxying over it we'll put a proper drainage channel in there a proper one that's serviceable and we'll link it up to this drainage soakaway over here and we'll have it all capped so there's no trip hazards for you to fall over with some proper um, u-channel and get it all tidied up and give it time for the concrete to set before we paint the floor so that's what we've done this morning we've just got the old uh, disc cutter out and it's done as well actually how long do you think that took us Gem? about an hour and a half not too bad as you can see there's a little bit of fumes in the air but there was no dust at all because it had the dust suppression with the hose pipe on there and well as you can see I've been grinding this hole all the way down here and on the end of our slip rollers and the stairs. No mess. So I'm really pleased how that's turned out. The next job is just to raise the concrete out of the hole. But I'm not going to do that until I've got some of the drainage channels here. I've got to go and pick one of them up today and then uh, another two packs are being delivered tomorrow. Hello folks. Improvements, ahoy! Check this out. So obviously with the impending reopening of the pubs this year, hopefully forever, it's about time we brought the floor up to spec. And whilst it's an inconvenience washing down every day after I've finished brewing and all the floors wet, it's kind of not great in terms of hygiene and of course this floor just won't take floor paint it's just not having it at all so before we take the plunge and invest in a resin floor which let me tell you now ain't fucking cheap we are going to go and install a couple of floor drains so it is tip top in here and uh, it will serve us for many years to come without the need to uh, chop into an already finished resin coated floor do the drainage first and then uh, if we ever move out we can just fill it back in with concrete and uh, well I don't, I don't think you ever would though would you you'd keep the drainage it would make more sense it's very handy uh, so this is the drainage that we're going to go for we want um, plastic because it's not going to be affected by the chemicals that we use for washing down uh, whereas the, if we use galvanized stuff it would potentially the galv would be removed by the caustics that we use uh, the floor resin flooring that we're putting down is chemical resistant stuff which should be good for decades to come and if we prep the floor correctly as I've shown you in a previous video hopefully we get it keyed in prime it key it and add the resin it should be a kind of one coat job not one coat one hit job two coats one hit good for years to come 
And uh, yeah, we've hit this this morning with the, uh, the still saw over there. Well, it's actually a Makita one. Uh, it's cut out really nicely. A um, couple of bits where there have been some voids under the concrete, as you can see there. But don't worry, we will fill them in and remedy it. In some places, the concrete is really good, like it's four inches thick. And in some places, it's less than two. So we'll make sure that when we put this down, it's better than when we started. And the drainage for this section here, because it runs the wrong way, we're going to have concealed drainage underneath a drainage channel. So it'll come down this way and then through and into the drain and then down that way. So we'll just have a short three meter run of pipe underneath the drainage channel, which will be easy to rod if you ever need to clean it out. But I don't think that's going to be necessary. It's just a short little straight run there. And then also we're going to come up here, terminate up at the top. All the floor runs down into the centre anyway. Uh, there has been some repair work in the future. As you can see, somebody's tried to send some cables and whatnot through there. Don't worry, they were dead. Here you can see where they were cut off in the past. That the, the cable went through the hole there. So uh, nothing to worry about. But this section here has been dug out at some point and then it's just kind of been butted over the top. Not a very good job. So we may remedy that before we put the resin flooring down. As you can see, there's quite a nasty crack running up there. So at the very least, we'll sort that crack out. Um, but yeah, what a job today. It came up, it's, uh, it's four o'clock now, so it came up in around four or five hours and that included the cutting, so I'm really pleased. Uh, so hopefully we'll get this job finished before um, before the weather turns, because it's raining at the minute, or it has been today, and before we start the roof, that's the next job. But I just wanted to get this done, so inside we can start to dry the unit out a little bit, particularly when the roof's done, and uh, prep the concrete for some new flooring. It's very exciting times. We'll be brewing a hell of a lot more in here. And uh, it'll be a hell of a lot quicker as well with this hygienic flooring down. Oh yeah, as you can tell I'm quite excited. Hey up lad. Oh, half past five. Oh, delicious. Right, excavation is complete. There's obviously no damp proof membrane below this floor. So I may have to add one just for this section, but it's kind of pointless. If anything, it'll just protect the concrete around the drainage channels. And I do have some concrete waterproofer as well somewhere, so I could put that in. We'll see, we'll see. I might have a look on uh, Builders Forum tonight and see what advice there is there for doing that. So this isn't the pipe that's going to go in, um, but it's the same dimensions. I need to chop that thing off the end, basically. And uh, we've got it laid down. It looks pretty level, but that end needs to come up slightly when we put the cement base in there. And... In order to hook that up to one of the drainage channels I've got one of them on the table here upside down and we've fashioned and cemented PVC cemented a connector onto there that's going to come out of there and shoot across to the drain itself so all the floor will run into that corner which it does anyway and then down into the drain. Now initially when we moved in, that drain was cemented up and I actually unblocked it. It was just concreted in. Uh, so I just got the chisel in there and cleared the concrete out and there was a drainage channel, which was absolutely fantastic. Saved me putting one in initially when we moved in. Now this job was meant to be done as well when we moved in. Uh, what was three years ago? Nearly four. Wow, uh, it's taken us that long. Of course, you've got to remember, we didn't have the kit, we didn't have any money, and uh, 
it's taken us this long to find the time to do it and I think if it wasn't for Covid I don't think I would have had the time to do this yet either because we'd have been still full tilt brewing beer so every cloud has a silver lining on all that this has really allowed us to make no end of improvements to the unit some of the things that we had to do original, immediately when we moved in, I bought these PVC windows and put them in. Bricked up that one at the end, which wasn't needed. All these little bits and bobs that we've done to make the place look sprick and span, but more than anything, functional and easy to use. So when I'm brewing, or whatever we're doing in here, we just need to make sure that we maintain the hygiene uh, make sure it's easy to clean and that makes it easier for us to look after the fabric of the building as well so I'm really looking forward to getting this floor down to be fair and it'll be nice to just come in and not because it really gets on my tits to be honest just seeing the flaky floor and it's just because of how old the floor is it's kind of it's had that many layers of paint I think this I would used to work in this building you know God, back into about 2002, 2003, and it was actually a window company. And uh, I think it's probably the same floor that was down then. That's one of the reasons why you've got these old UPVC windows dotted about, and there was like guttering up, on, you know, to repair the roof upside down to try and catch drips and stuff like that. So this building's got quite a lot of history, and uh, I'm part of it. I was part of it, and I'm more part of it now I guess so yeah I'm, I'm really pleased with today's progress I think this is going to be done and dusted by tomorrow provided I can get the ballast in uh, just need some ballast and cement and yeah it's probably just a day's work to lay this so I'll get the mixer down from the mezzanine it's just up there hiding around the corner that's all the spoil that we've got taken out and that pile over there as well as a few bits of concrete so not a lot at all I don't think we're going to be using more than like five bags of sand and a couple of bags of cement, a bit of ballast. And then, yeah, we'll get it all pointed up nicely and ready for paint. It's going to look really smart, isn't it? Right then, folks, that's just a quick update today because I didn't want to do this and then obviously cut to another video and bingo, we've got a floor drain in the brewery. So I thought I'd document the process so you can see how it's done and uh, or how I've done it <laughs> you know you've got to piss with the cock that you've got as they say so I'm working with what we've got here and I think it's going to be spot on right then I'm going to go home cheers boys and girls thank you very much for watching and we'll see you on the next one